Hello, everyone. I'm Tina Zhang. Welcome to our Shanghai Victory. Let's go. MSI has a huge production facility in Shanghai, responsible for its range of gaming laptops. It has capacity for over 120,000 units a month, with the flexibility to cope with an ever-changing global ordering pattern. The entire facility is run by Ethan Yang, a production guru and engineering genius who's still in his 30s, complete with ponytail. We expected to be shown the branding highlights, but we were actually given full access to all areas. We saw every component being integrated onto the boards themselves, right through to the final testing and packaging of MSI's gaming laptop range, ready to be sent to the shops. Some vendors simply assemble other people's components. MSI is a genuine manufacturer with the ability to create custom main boards, graphics and cooling solutions. It all starts with a printed circuit board. We began our investigation on PCB assembly line A. Each PCB moves automatically from machine to machine. Components are added, soldered and then checked, both by computers and by human quality control experts. The high speed mounting machines are fed with components that are stored on tape. This part of the assembly machine looks like a top end computer from a 1960s sci-fi show. It's only on close inspection that you can see the tapes are actually moving forward one component at a time as the little robotic arms inside mount the components on the board. Each part of the process generates more data. All of the build and test data from the entire assembly plant is linked into a giant database designed by Ethan. With up to 3,000 components being integrated into each gaming laptop, that's a vast field of data. It lets Ethan and his team analyze every aspect of the plant's behavior, and to then be able to track down and solve any issue that occurs during the laptop's warranty. There are assembly stages which are completed and tested entirely by computer, while others require visual inspection. As each PCB passes a test, its data is captured into the central database before moving to the next stage. The mounting, soldering and inspection stages are repeated over and over along the lengthy production line. Remember that this line, the components and processes being used, need to change with each new laptop. At this stage the boards are nearly ready to begin the process of integration into a complete laptop. Any defect whatsoever will mean that the laptop will be rejected later down the line. These inspectors take their task very seriously. It's their job to spot problems as early as possible to ensure that the final assembly line works as efficiently as possible. The finalized boards are then stacked, ready to be moved to the assembly point. With up to 4,000 shells and cases running through the line every day, it's crucial that each part is perfect before it begins its journey through the assembly process. There are a lot of preparation steps to complete before the major components are integrated. After a lot of experimentation, Ethan decided that the screen should be mounted at 90 degrees. This maximizes the engineer's access to the contact points while relieving any weight issues as the screen supports itself. More checking, then the unit's prepared to receive a cooling solution that is unique to that laptop design. Ethan insists that every component within each build is tracked throughout its lifetime, so the assemblers are constantly adding new barcodes and scanning them into the final BOM, or bill of materials. The processes between product lines are very similar. We've now moved to the G72 line. Here's another test that the main board goes through before integration, a complete check of its AV capabilities. This test is performed by humans because, as Nathan explained, people can react and adapt to a variety of issues and problems far quicker than a machine. We understand the quality of audio output way beyond a simple yes or no state when checking if it works. We rejoin the line as the screen is going through its final fitting phase. Again, the unique heat pipe cooling solution is integrated into the laptop. Ethan has refined his final testing process to the point where he can tell at a glance if every screw used to mount the cooling solution is in the right place and has been given the correct tension. As the case is finally sealed, the outside has various stickers and barcodes added. At this point, the laptop is paired with a power supply that will ship with it to the customer. 
Ethan knows that certain issues will only arise when a specific combination of products are combined together, so he insists that everything is tested as the customer will receive it. That real-world testing continues with peripherals. These are Ethan's bespoke testing bricks. To ensure maximum compatibility, MSI wants to test each laptop with around 150 popular peripherals to see if there will be a conflict. It's not practical to fill a warehouse with third-party hardware, so these custom emulation bricks were developed to simulate the majority of situations that a customer will find themselves in. Once the laptop has passed a full battery of peripheral tests, it's time for the soak test. Ethan not only works closely with his own team of engineers and programmers, but also with the design, service and support teams from MSI's offices around the world. If a laptop demonstrates a strange behaviour pattern when waking from a sleep state with a specific set of applications running, then he wants to know before it leaves the factory. The worst case scenarios become part of his testing program, where systems are put to sleep halfway through tasks, immediately woken with a LAN signal and then put back to sleep again. This happens over and over. Here we see a screen displaying one of four random patterns. The operator needs to choose which layout he sees in front of him. If the wrong button's clicked, the unit is pulled from the line and a supervisor has to check it out. The nature of the test is to remove the possibility of the operator choosing A, A, A over and over, thereby missing a potential problem. We're now in the final stages. Each unit is carefully cleaned, placed inside protective packaging and boxed up, ready to be shipped to stores around the globe. This tour of MSI's Shanghai laptop factory has been absolutely fascinating. KitGuru has visited a number of plants around the world, from small local system builders to the Great Wall factories. In terms of scale and psychology, this is the most impressive production plant we've ever seen outside of a fab. We thank MSI for inviting us inside their Shanghai plant.